Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, I just recorded some um, Super Mario Maker stuff. It's the se October seventeenth, and I know I'm recording like this like quite far in advance by the time it goes up because at the moment I have videos kind of true to Halloween, but there's like a reason for that. Um, it'll be because like I won't be able. To I think I like touched. Oh, I love this music. Um, it'll be. It's because like. Um, Excuse me, let go of that Kirby, you're getting a bit attached to that car. Um, it's because, like, um, um, I won't be able to record, and I think I, like, touched on that as well, like, um, recently, because I was saying, like, oh, well, I'm going to be going to, um, I'm going to be going abroad, like, I'm going to be going to, um, London and the Netherlands for a while, so I actually won't be able to record, um, while I'm, like, traveling and I'll be like traveling for quite a while as well so that'll be um that'll be the reason I just don't want especially like when it's the start of LPs I hate that you only like just start an LP and you end up like going on a break for such a long time it's like it's like the last thing you ever want to do you know and that's what happened with Mario excuse me Waddle D you just like threw that out from under me that from under me um that's like what happened with Mario Galaxy, and I just don't want that to happen again, you know, that kind of way. It's like, it's like once is enough for something stupid like that to happen, you know? Just don't want it to happen again. I was so annoyed about that, like, when, when I look back, like, in retrospect, that, would, that was just something that should never have really happened, you know? Like, it's bad enough there being... It's bad enough there being, like, one, one LP, and that, that LP being, um... Oh my god, what'll... what'll do? Um, it's bad enough there being one LP, and i.e. Zelda Ocarina of Time, where that happened. Do you know what this always reminds me of? It's like that duck that the penguin has in... in, um... in, in Batman Returns. And the reason it always, like, the reason that duck is so, like, in my... ingrained in my memory... No! <laughs> that was close. The reason that duck is so ingrained in my memory is because, like, we actually had it. Like, we had a toy of it. Um, we had a toy of that duck. Yeah, you're scared now. Did you see him? He was terrified when I was, like, I turned his own weapon against him. Um, we actually had, like, a toy of that duck. And it was, like, it wasn't, like, a cheap, crappy toy either when I think of it. It was, like, um, it was actually, like, a die-cast metal toy of that duck that the penguin has in in um Batman Returns which is actually like a pretty cool thing like that and it's such a memorable part of the film as well where do you know the way he has like the thing put on the Batmobile that he can control it with I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything down here whoa my god you caught me unawares but you're not gonna like steal my star from me ass um like the um Joe, he has like that thing put on the the Batmobile that he can control it with. I'm gonna see what that is because it might be important. Oh, it's actually like it's actually a comment on the first part of um of this LP, funnily enough, because like I just I just like recorded the um. Excuse me, why why did you do that to me? And why did I do that? That was just silly. I'm hoping that like. Well, I actually got everything back. Um. I thought there was going to be a door there. It shows how like little I know about anything. I just like poke poke my head out and through this door for two seconds. Literally like a second. Oh my god, you can go so quickly with that. I didn't know. Um, today is actually like the the day when I put up like the first part of this LP. So I'm like excited to see what that comment will be. I'm not going like interrupting myself to go and check it or anything like that, but I I'll look at it in a second. Um, but yeah, and he's just like there going crazy inside in the, inside in the. I think it's like a news van, isn't it? I think it's actually a news van. Is the is the thing that he has? It's like some. Um, it's like some van or so any or something anyway that he's inside, in, and he's like going crazy with that whole like a. Uh, 
like be he's going crazy because because Batman foils his plan and he like he just he's in there like bouncing up and down inside and it. Well, first of all, he's bouncing up and down with joy. Like first of all, he's bouncing up and down because he's so happy because he's like, oh, I got Batman. I duped him. You try to make a dupe out of me. Seeing as we're coming up to Halloween. Is it like going to be a thing in this LP that I have to play every part of every level like three times because of stupidity? Um, but yeah, he thinks he's like making a dupe out of Batman and that he's controlling the bat because he's controlling the Batmobile. Um, but it turns out then that like Batman tur turns the tables on him. Um, bat like, like, would you ever start rolling? You're on a slope. Um, <laughs> look, now I just feel just like the penguin. This must be how the penguin felt in that, um, in that film when he was, like, going around on that duck. Well, then he actually does have the duck, doesn't he? He has, like, the duck that he goes into... Or wait, is that even a duck that he's in when he's controlling the Batmobile? When he's controlling the Technodrome! Um, is that even, like, a... Is that even, like, a, a duck that he's in when he's controlling that thing? Or is it, like, just, like, a regular... Or is it just, like, a regular thing? I can't remember. Like, a regular ride. I'm gonna, gonna try and get in here. Um, or is it just, like, a regular ride? I know it's, like, a duck that he's in later on. Because he's in, like, the sewers going around on the duck. Um, but yeah, we had, like, a, a really cool, like, cast iron toy. It was really heavy as well, because obviously it was made out of metal. Um, but it was, like, just, like, a solid block of metal, the thing. It was mad. Um, but it was a really cool thing. But I remember it got kind of bashed and beaten up then as well. Um, like, we... It's probably still there, like, floating around somewhere. Like, I remember, like, the paint, like, chipped on it and whatever, as happens with those things. Oh, there's like stuff up there as well. There's beads. Mm, my be beads. <laughs> yeah. I'm as I'm as excited by the beads as as um Gus is by those beads or those pearls or and my beads and my sash. Um, when when like Cinder, the way Cinderella gets like the mice. Well, she doesn't get them. They're acting of their own accord. Cinderella would never have done that herself because she would have known better than to try and like tangle with her sisters. Is there, like, seriously nothing over there? Oh, well. Aren't you gonna come up here, little arm? There we go. Um, but yeah, so... That's such a good film, though, like that... Hey, don't you think you can... I'll get the two of you in one, in one go. And I'll get you as well, you this ass up here. And look, the poor teddy bear, look at him. Is there any way that... Did I just, like, screw myself or something? Because I should have, like... Will he respawn? I hope he respawns. Because, like, I don't think... Can you, like, go back up there? I mean, the waddle... The, the waddle do respawned. I don't see why, like, that, that general robot guy, or whatever he is. In case you haven't noticed, we're in Toyland. No, apparently he doesn't respawn. Is there going to be, like, a way that I can get back up there? Oh! <laughs> Here I am, overthinking everything as per usual. This poor bear is crying. We can just, like, sew him all up and make him all happy again. He holds a balloon! Everything about this is just adorable. This reminds me of this television show there used to be. I'm pretty sure there's at least one person in this in who's going to know what I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. Well, in a vertical position. What? I can't do that. Watch, watch this be like the the time that the the Wii mode decides to give up the ghost battery. Excuse me, get back up there. I find this like extremely difficult to control. Did you get back there? I find this extremely complicated. Like I. Like, I'm gonna try- what I'm gonna try this time is, like, holding down the button and just trying to get it all in, like, one go. Because, like, I think that's probably, like, a better way to do it. <laughs> oh my god, he's, like, going like a psychopath. Because then, like, you don't end up with, like...
Oh well, it just happened. What did I tell you? Well, look, I have a battery here, but only one. I was like looking for and batteries the other day, and I could only find one, of course. No, go up there. Um, and I could only find one, of course, because like, why would it be any different? Of course, that had to happen. You could back up there. Stupid trick. Oh my god, my door just made a noise. Am I going to be able to get this? The soundtrack? Oh my god, I got it, I think. <laughs> this, this, I'm like the worst train track designer in the world, apparently, because look at this design. It's like all psychopathic. He's homicidal, Jor! Just get up here and get this carriage. He's homicidal. Oh, that's a carriage. I thought that was like a treasure. But I think these carriages turn into treasures or something eventually, do they? Well, no, I have all the treasures. They turn into beads is what it is. Beads! Is what they turn into. Yeah, see? Oh my god. This level making me so like... I don't know what. Make me, make me homicidal! There was like this other video that I was watching. Hang on a sec. Oh my god, that mocha turned out good today. This has become like a nice little tradition, me having a mocha while playing Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, it seems to fit, somehow. But yeah, that level reminds- to finish like one story before I start with the video that I watched. Um, the, the story that I was saying is like, it reminds me of this like, show that I used to watch because it was on the television. And I can't even remember what it was called. I have a feeling that it was called Mumphy or something, or was it even called that? But what it was, was like, it was like a live action thing, but the characters in it were toys. And one of the characters was like a concertina, like a blue and yellow concertina with a red mouth. And one of the characters was an elephant. Um, and there was definitely a teddy bear there as well. But I don't remember anything else about it. But I can't remember what it was called. Was it called Mumphy? Or what was it called? Oh, I love this level that's coming up next. Um... This mushroom way or whatever. This is like really cute. Oh, mushroom run. This is really cute music as well. But yeah, that cartoon was Australian or that show was Australian. So if Katie is watching then, then she'll surely have seen it or know what I'm talking about. And be able to say what it was. But I'll, I definitely remember there was a terrifying blue and yellow concertina. Or um, Nocturnal Owly might know about it since I presume they show like... Um, oh my god, he came back to get me. Oh, I love this music, it's so, like, cute. Phone. My phone's ringing. I'm back to this amazing game and amazing, amazing music and the bouncy, bouncy toadstools. You just, I'm gonna stop you before you start, waddle do. And this bee, I was just about to tell you guys. Um, I just got reminded by, um... By that phone call because I was talking to my dad on the phone and um, I should have I could have used a snail on that I suppose um, I, and I was telling him the story I was telling the story because there was like this terrifying experience that I had oh yeah I forgot you can like do this this music is just so pretty though I love it so much um, there was like a terrifying giant wasp inside in the, inside in the house. I don't know why, but like for some reason the wasps always pick me to gravitate towards. And then they won't leave me alone. Oh, I love this like octopus guy. He's pretty cool. Oh my god. He's like little fluffy little um... Fluffy little cottony things that he puts out as, as a... As a means of attack. Oh my god, I, I, wow, I think that's actually the first time I've ever got hit by one of them. As far as I remember, as far as I can tell. Like, because I definitely don't remember seeing that ever. Anything else in here? This is a really cute level. So yeah, there was a giant wasp. Now I have like a history of just being... Of, of, of wasps just like torturing me. Like, I've been stung by wasps before as a child, so it's no wonder, like, that I, that I 
have a fear of them. But for some reason, wherever I am, and if there are wasps like anywhere, if there's a wasp anywhere, it'll pick me to like, um, to gravitate towards and won't leave me alone. And 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 I don't know, like because I've been stung by them, because I know like at this time of year especially, they're like quite um aggressive compared to like other times of the year. I just like get completely freaked out by them. Um, understandably, because as I say, like at this time of the year when they're dying out, that's like when when they're aggressive, like and uh, unnecessarily aggressive. Because normally, like with with bees and and things like that, if you just like if you just leave them alone and then and, and don't bother them, they'll leave you alone and they won't bother you either. But like at this time of the year, wasps get get aggressive and again, they'll actually like sting you even if you leave them alone, you know? I just don't like that. I don't like things that are unpredictably aggressive like wasps are. Um, so yeah, there was like this, this wasp. I was sitting in my room here and my, my bedroom door was open and my bedroom like adjoins onto the sitting room. Um, so I don't know whether it was like in my room or, or well I didn't know and I still don't know I didn't know whether it was like in my room or whether it was in the sitting room um, but I heard like this low kind of lazy hum like because that's what they sound like when they're big like they, when when wasps are big they make like this really like they make like this really um this really like low pitch like lazy lazy buzzing noise like it doesn't sound like a bee or like a fly or anything it's like way like lower pitch um so like i hear this like this, this oh it's you it's a frog you stay away from me i'm just gonna squash you squashed it <laughs> like in, in spirited away um i'm gonna use you to do this what does that even do it just sends you away never to be seen again is what it does Oh my god, that, now the radiator next to me made a noise. Everything's making noises around me. I'm on edge because of that wasp. So yeah, the, it, I heard like this noise and I was like, oh my god, that sounds like it's a wasp. Um, um, so, so like, I was looking for it. Like I was looking, trying to locate the source of the noise, trying to know where the wasp was. Because if there's one, if there's one... If there's one thing that's worse than a wasp, it's like when there's a wasp and you know there's one, but you can't like tell where it is. That's terrible. There's like, it's awful because you know there's one there, but you don't know where it is to like stay out of its way or try and get rid of it or whatever you want to do. Do you know? Um, and I really just don't like that. I wonder where this little, um, where the CD is going to be. Um, because I can't remember. Probably like somewhere over here. Maybe? I don't know. That's like where like the red treasure thing is. Probably like over here. Well, there's something over here anyway. A load of treasure. I'm gonna stop you before you start, Mr. Snail. I've had enough um, encounters with mini beasts for the day. Um, so yeah, that was my, my wasp experience. Ooh, look at this. Um, so I no, that wasn't my wasp experience. So so I was trying to find it. So I was going around in the sitting room trying to find it. And I could hear it, but I couldn't see it. And then I saw it over by the window. Um, and it was absolutely fucking enormous. Like it was, like, I swear, it's like one of, if not the biggest one I've ever seen, because it was absolutely giant. Okay, that's nice, but where's my CD? Okay, that was like a bad idea. Um, it was absolutely giant. Like I, like so, so I got like um, um it was up like by the window, um, up like next to the window, acting all wiggity whack, um, trying to get out through the window. I don't know what it was doing. Oh, I, apparently I missed the CD, but whatever. Who cares? Um. Um, so, so that's where the wasp was, and I saw them was ginormous, so I got like a magazine or like a book or something, um, and then like, 
I, I killed it, but it was still like buzzing around, like it didn't like die, it was still like f buzzing around, it was just like all dazed and confused, so then I hit it again and then it died, but like I have it inside in a little glass bottle because it's so big and I, when, when dad comes home I need to show it to him being like, look at this, look this is how big it was, it's terrifying, and it's like really long, it has like a really long body, it's not like a fat thing or anything, it just has a really long scary body, oh my god, like it's awful. So I've already been put on edge by that wasp today. Um, so yeah, that was that part of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, in the next part, we'll see what this cake does. So thanks a million for watching. Bye now.